and how was Lamont? Quite, quite acceptable. I think quite good because we, we won together uh, against a strong competition. Very strong competition. How are the cars to drive? Fast, reliable, and uh, obviously uh, very, very special in terms of uh, the power, in terms of the torque. And Le Mans is always very fast, especially at night. This year there was a lot of uh, rain coming as well. And um, what we mentioned earlier is also that the Audi uh, A10 TDI has very low uh, noise level, and that means a very, uh, from even from from quite low speed, uh, you don't hear the engine very much and, then, and when you come up around 150 miles per hour you only hear the wind noises and the aerodynamics. So that actually lowers your stress down, right? Because you're not fighting the noise all the yeah, time. Yeah, it uh, certainly does. It uh, makes everything more quiet and, and it also uh, makes the, the stress less. Not the physical, because the physical with the G-forces and the braking and stuff like this. Is the G-forces the the, uh, that you encounter. That, uh, that is actually more with the car because it has very good downforce on top of that. So uh, very interesting and uh, very nice to drive. Uh, probably the best and most efficient race car that I or we ever drove. And how is it having so much torque in comparison to a normal gas engine? I mean, yeah, in this car, you put your foot down on it and it's all there, right? So coming out of a corner, you don't have to wind it out as much. You have the torque and blood on it. Hey. At the end, you're trying to go around the circuit as fast as possible, so you put the throttle down as much as you can. And uh, we certainly had to adapt our style a little bit to the extra torque that we had over the regular gas engine. And we have to remember the R8 with the direct injection FSI was already very, very good throttle response. But uh, suddenly you've got this massive kick in the back when you come out of the, the corner and it really pushes you along that uh, you know you just can't imagine going back to a gas engine car again in that has it, rate. Has it changed your braking techniques that you've had been able to have so much torque available to brake later come out real quick? No, you can't brake later because we have less, uh, we have less uh, engine uh, braking power compared uh, compare the petrol engine. And, uh, and also about acceleration, because the torque, we have to, to play a little bit more with the throttle to avoid the uh, wheel spin, which make, uh, you know, the rear tire uh, dropping uh, quickly, or uh, yeah, quickly compare uh, uh, the R8, for example. And uh, that's why we had, we had to change a little bit our driving style. And so the, this last American Le Mans series in Laguna Seca, there was no mechanical problems, right? The cars performed faithfully and... Yeah, we haven't had mechanical, any mechanical problems in the lifetime of the R10 in reality. It's been an extremely reliable car. You know, we take Le Mans. Uh, it's a 24 hour race. We did uh, about nearly 4,000 miles during the race in one day. All we did was refuel it with diesel and put new tires onto it. We didn't change rotors, we didn't change gearbox internals, we didn't change anything on the car. Just diesel and tires. So reliability for a four-hour race at Laguna. And to be honest, that's a walk in the park. That's a walk in the park. And the first race uh, the car ever did, we won this in Sebring 2006, the 12-hour race. Right. And, um, to win the first time out and still in, in a three-year program still be the dominant factor, that is something which is uh, very unique in racing today, that you already three years ago have designed a car which, uh, which still can win. Still competitive. Race, still competitive and still winning races still and winning. on the top level. That's, uh, that's something which is really, really unique. And what do you think about Peugeot's entry? What was the story behind Peugeot? Was it, did you have confidence that it was going to be victory anyway, even given the valiant effort by the French team? Or? From my point of view, we had a lot of confidence in what we were able to achieve, but for sure, there was no, everyone, the favorite, they were clearly the favorite this year, uh, but we believed and we wanted to do the very best we could with what we had. And uh, I think we were there we, not only on the, the technical side, uh, believed in the reliability, we also trusted very much in our team and in the way the mechanics and everyone gelled in the way the decisions we made uh, during the race uh, really made a, a human factor too, not only a technical factor. And that's a sense everyone can can very be proud of that um, uh, that victory. But for sure, 
I would say you didn't have to answer that because everyone thought that Persia would win it. So we never had to answer this before, which irritated us a little bit because everyone thought and made ready that we would lose. And in that sense, I think we are extra proud of this victory because it's it's done in such a unique um, unique way. What do you see in the future for Audi racing? There, I think you should ask our younger teammate, uh, Mr. Capello, because he's, uh, <laughs> yeah. he's I know everything about the future. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> you have your crystal ball, <laughs> you say, what? <laughs> with the, you know, the, the, ball, hey. the balls. And the balls, yeah, yeah. Audi is never sleeping, and um, yeah, for sure, a three-year program is, uh, is now brought to an end, but they are already having something up their sleeves, and um, Le Mans is a unique race, and the sports car, uh, we'll make sure that there will, at one time, there will come a successor. We hope it will come next year. Uh, and the drivers are here, not the technicians. They are working at home in uh, Ingolstadt in Germany. So obviously, we are very excited to see what they will come up with. But uh, is, is Dr. Ulrich here at? Uh, he was. He's in Laguna Seca. He's looking. At, they're doing their victory dinner on the beach or something tonight, right? No, but there is a banquet. 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 Yeah, the, yeah, and then. Uh, he is there. Okay. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's really, this is really exciting. Thanks again.